One of the things that I've considered was uh, the choice of the liquid metal reactor, fast reactor, as opposed Excuse to... Excuse me, how do you uh, increase the volume here? Let me walk them for a second. Uh, you mentioned where did we go wrong? Uh, and uh, one of the things I've done you were active in was a molten salt reactor. And instead of that, we went to the liquid metal reactor. Do you think that was a serious mistake? Yes, I think it was a mistake. But I guess what I'm talking about is uh, it goes much beyond the kind of reactor that we're going to build or that will take over. Because no matter what kind of reactor you build, apprehensive members of the public, or Ralph Nader for that matter, uh, will be able to use this confusion between phantom deaths and real deaths to scare people out of nuclear energy. So I don't think, I think that that issue overrides the question of whether molten salt is better than liquid metal. I happen to think that molten salt is better than metal. As I have a follow-on question from uh, cyberspace that we got by email right before t today's colloquium, and uh, it's related to Dr. Miller's question. And this question comes from Kirk Sorensen, who is with the NASA Marshall Space Flight Center, and it has to do with the molten salt breeder reactor. Uh, he would like for you to comment on the inherent safety of the molten salt reactor and how we might be able to uh, restart a molten salt reactor program. The molten salt people, uh, who included uh, the most famous figures in, in nuclear energy, in particular Eugene Wigner, uh, are all dying off. And once they're dead, then I suppose you can uh, reinitiate a program on molten salt. Now, are molten salts inherently safer than liquid metal uh, fuel pin reactors? I think they are as much as anything because uh, you don't have uh, supercritical uh, amounts of uranium involved in the system. Uh, you add uranium bit by bit, bit as you need it because the material is molten. But I'm much impressed with the fact that despite the molten salt reactor having, in a sense, been a failure in that we don't have people building molten salt reactors now. The uh, molten salt reactor experiment, which produced seven and a half megawatts of heat, was one of the most important um, and I must say, brilliant achievements of the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. And I hope that after I'm gone, people will look at the dusty books that were written on molten salts and will say, hey, these guys had a pretty good idea. Let's go back to it.